What up, what up, what up? This is Simply Simone Thick. I know it's been a minute since I taped, but, you know, I was going through some things, so, you know, I wanted to get that together before I started taping again. But this is your Thick Thought number six. And these are the top nine things that I want to share about BBW dating that we hate. And this is like major because, you know, people who want to date us, you need to listen to this for real. And, you know, the BBWs that are listening, hi everyone, y'all need to, to give me some comments and let me know if you agree with me. All right, so number nine, settling. I don't know why men tend to think that BBWs, you know, have to settle for the first man that comes along. You know, I've been told so many times when I reject a person, oh, well, you better be glad I'm even talking to you. As if I'm ugly or I'm disgusting or something like that. I'm like, BBWs? Ain't for to just settle for just anybody in their life. I mean, we deserve a good man just like anybody else, and we have choices. Why? Why do y'all assume that? I don't. I don't get it. Make me understand for real. Number eight, when dating is very awkward when we order food for some apparent reason. If we order a salad. Then we're looking like, oh, well, why are you ordering a salad? Why are you on a diet, girl? You need to stay the size you are. If you order a lot of food, then you're considered fat as hell. You know, I had gastric bypass a million years ago when it wasn't fashionable. And so I can't eat a lot of food. So sometimes I order very, very small meals. Or you'll see me like transferring my meal from a big plate to a tiny plate because I can only eat five bites of food. Either way it goes, why does it matter? You know, you don't ask a skinny chick why she eating a whole lot of food, so why would you do that to a, a big girl? You know what I'm saying? We deserve to feel comfortable on a date and comfortable ordering whatever we want to eat without question, without criticism, without the crazy looks. So could y'all just chill on that? You know, damn. Number seven, assuming that when you hit us up, that you're the only one that, that calls us or texts us. You know, it, it, it it's really trips me out when men get mad when they, they text you out the blue, right? And you ask, who is this? And they say, this is Brian or this is Michael. And you're like, well, I know a lot of Brian's. I know a lot of Michael's. Can you send a pic? And then they get an attitude like as if they're the only person who ever hits you up in life. Like, that's the only number you have in your phone. That's crazy. I mean, I got like a million and one numbers in my phone for business, for pleasure, for friends. And, you know, there are times when I don't know who the hell somebody is. So, damn, can't you tell me who you are, send me a pic, so at least I know who I'm talking to. It's not to be rude or anything, but I do have a lot of people hitting me up. And don't assume that we're big girls. We, we have an audience of men who want to hit us up and you ain't the only person why are you assuming that shit that's crazy to me that's crazy as hell all right number six you all assume that we have low self-esteem and so therefore we just do what we accept their whatever and whomever that is not true just because i'm a big girl doesn't mean that i'm depressed about it now am i happy that I'm the, the, the big size I am? No, not necessarily, no. But I do love myself and I do, you know, embrace my curves. Now, I am working on my health. I am working on getting some of this weight off so that I can look better and feel better health-wise. But I love myself. I think I look damn good for 51, you know? But I don't want to stay at 335 pounds. I, I do want to lose some of this weight but I don't want to be skinny necessarily but I don't want to stay 335 either and yeah I'm way 335 y'all uh number five you assume we're lonely so therefore we just want somebody to just come over and chill with us or whatever why do y'all assume that you know I'm single by choice 
you know, I'm single by choice. I choose to be by myself. You know, I do date. I do kick it and stuff like that. But one of the things that I don't have is a nigga living with me. You know, playing wifey and stuff like that. And I choose who I want to date. I'm not lonely. Trust me, I'm not lonely. I get like hundreds and hundreds of messages a day of men trying to get with me. And so I have an audience of people who pay me some attention, so I'm not lonely. I make a choice to be by myself until I find the right one. You know, the right one that God has for me. I'm willing to, to actually go sit down somewhere and wait for that right person. Because I'm tired of these on and off again relationships. That's crazy to me. Number four. Y'all assume that BBWs don't have standards. You know, we like eye candy too. You know, I have a specific kind of man that I like. You know, because I'm a big girl, I don't like big guys. I don't. I don't like heavy set men. I don't like men who are big guys because they're too heavy on me. You know, my preference is a thin man. I love thin men. I love men between 5'9, maybe really 5'6 to 5'8 to 5'9 ish. I like them kind of short. I like them thin. I like a guy with a nice body. That's my preference. You know what I'm saying? And I just and I have the right to have that preference. You know, and I don't want no out of shape, crazy looking man. I just don't. I mean, that's what I prefer. Okay? And just because I'm out of shape doesn't mean that I want somebody else that's out of shape. I'm working on my shape and stuff like that. And there's an audience for who, what I look like, my pear shape. So don't assume that we don't have standards. I don't just take just anybody in my inbox, okay? And if you want to cuss me out, so be it. I don't really care. <laughs> really don't. Number three, a night, another nightmare is choosing the right clothes for a date. Because if you wear something too provocative, then a man, a man thinks you finna be a thought and you finna get him some. And then if you dress too prudish, you know, then they think that you are uptight, you know. So I, I, I tend to go down the middle. I want something that's sexy, but something that's comfortable, where it's something that shows my curves, but not so thottish that I got to keep pulling it down or keep covering up and feeling uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? But... Just because a person puts on an outfit, guys, don't assume that they are thought, because they not, okay? Number two is a really big one. Assuming that all BBWs are thoughts, and that we just open our legs to whoever they hear. I'm not that person. Do not send me your produce. I get so the hell sick and tired of that shit. Like, men don't even, like, say hi to me anymore. They just send me a, a dick pic. And then they want to talk about, you know, how they want to put it in my mouth and slap me with it and all this other shit. I'm like, first of all, I ain't no hoe. I'm not a, I'm not a thought. Now, for the right man, I'm his whore for my man. Not for just any old random dude. I'm not a thought. You're not coming over my house uh, just so you could have sex with me. You're not finna do the 3 a.m. thing during thought hours because my, my thing is after 10 o'clock ain't nothing open but legs the hospital the morgue jail and the crazy house okay I'm, I'm not the one you ain't finna act, you treat me like I'm no whore because I'm not and you're not gonna come at me like that I'm sorry and if you have a problem with that that's really too damn bad because um you will get shot down, you will get your feelings hurt, and you will be upset with me because I will cuss you the hell out. Simple as that. And no, you can't see a picture of my ass. No, you're not going to find out if my ass is, is soft or whatever the hell. Sexual harassment, bullshit you're trying to do. Simple as that. And more BBWs need to do that. You know, y'all need to really just get it together, y'all. Stop setting that as the standard and making it seem like you so desperate that you got to just screw everybody. It ain't that serious. Have some class about yourself. And last but not least, the number one thing that pisses me the hell off and other BBWs, 
is treating us like we are a freak show or a fetish. You know, I am not a fetish. I am not a thing. You know, I get sick and tired of men who have never been with a BBW suddenly because everybody wants somebody thick. Suddenly we are, we are a thing now. And y'all want to get with us. You know, one of the things that I always ask, I ask always, is, um, you know, have you ever been with a BBW? And how long have you been dating us? Have you ever slept with one of us? Because it's very, very disheartening when a guy can't make love to us like, like we need to be made love to because they don't know what they're doing. It, we get tired of men who are just going to jump on the bandwagon with thick girls and then when it ain't the style no more, then they suddenly don't want us anymore and we're already invested in you. Don't do that. If you don't, if you like skinny girls, stay with skinny girls. But don't try us out as if we are like a a used car and you doing a test drive. Uh, that that is so disrespectful, and it hurts. You know. So, guys, can we do better? Ladies, can we do better? Let's set a better standard, ladies, among us BBWs. And let me let me give you a bonus. Buying a ass, getting like the, the Brazilian butt lift or the Chicago butt lift or whatever the hell it is, does not make you a BBW. A fat ass does not make a BBW. Okay? And just because you're a fat girl doesn't make you a BBW either. A BBW, let me give you the definition of a BBW. A BBW is a woman who embraces her curves, has high self-worth, believes that she's beautiful and is, and is accepting herself in her own skin. And she's beautiful on the inside and she's beautiful on the outside. That's what a BBW is. Not because you have a fat ass, not because you are, you, you just bought an ass. BBW is, is a whole movement. It's, it's a, a behavior. It's not just a look, okay? Simple as that. So understand that, ladies. So stop calling these these girls that just bought an ass, or they just got a fat ass. They're not a BBW. They're just thick. It's a difference. Being thick and being a BBW or a super BBW is two different things, or three different things, okay? So stop it. You know, I get on these websites with these BBW websites and ain't nobody on their BBW. People are like normal size with a fat ass. That's that's not a BBW. You ain't a size 14. If you're not shopping in the plus size section at Lane Bryant or, or Ashley Stewart or uh, the plus size section in Rainbow or something like that, you are not a BBW. you just not. I'm sorry. Stop that shit. So I'm trying to jump in our in our, our in our shit. Okay, simple as that. Stop it. And on that note, this is simply Simone Thick with another thick thought for today. This is another thick as hell productions. Peace and chicken grease, y'all. <laughs>